Do you love the look of clear elements in your planner? How about making those from things around your house? I've got all that coming up for you, so stay tuned. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so in love with all the clear elements that I've been seeing showing up in my Instagram feed and all over the internet. And I really wanted to add these to my planner. So I thought, I can't really go to the store. I could order stuff, but I'd like to do it now. Let's see what I have around my house that I can use to put layered clear elements into my planner. It really was quite simple and I found quite a few things. I'm going to show you some of those things that you'll have around your house that you can use, some things that you may not have, but may spark some inspiration for other things that you might have. And since this is part of the limited supply series, we're going to be using more of the stickers that we've been using in the last couple of weeks. So this is the sticker kit that we've been using for this series. And this is the sticker sheet that you can get for free by going to the link in the description below. And the other sheets are available for purchase in my shop and that link is also in the description. We've used this one and we've used the numbers so today we're going to be using some of the words that are on the number sheet as well as this one. So let's get started. Okay so I've got lots of different ways that you can use clear accents just from what you have around the house. I'm going to start with the stuff I'm pretty sure you have on hand and then we'll move into other stuff that maybe you do or maybe you don't. Okay so the first thing is things come with your planner and you might not be using them or you might be using them or maybe you're using them for different things. So this is a bookmark that's, it's not really transparent completely but it is sort of see-through. And then I have this clear page, it's more of a protective page that is just, just sitting there. And then this one, again, is not completely transparent, but it's just a piece of vellum. And then I have another clear one here. You can use those. You don't have to keep them in the planner they came in. You can switch them up and use them in whatever you want. So that's a good source to find transparent pages. Another thing that I really like to do is to take the packaging off of anything you have, any kind of sticker or whatever. So usually stickers come back on a transparent page. So I took this one and was empty. So I took that one. Sometimes it has a little bit of bumps and things from where the stickers were. If you can find one that's fa fairly smooth, then you're all set. But I don't think the bumps are that big of a deal if that's what you want to use. Also the little packages that it comes in, it's a bit flimsier than this. It's not a solid and it tends to rip, but that's also a solution. So all you would have to do is carefully open the packaging. And what I like to do with these, just uh, a tip, just a tip while I'm here, I will just stick these two together so that I can keep them straight and they don't get lost in my stash. But here you can see that I have a bit of um, writing on this, but that you can just use the front of this one because it's, of course, two layers front and back. You can rip this gently along the seam and it should come apart really well for you. Of course, this is going to be a more fragile page but it doesn't mean that you can't use it in your planner. The top we're just going to cut along the seam. And of course, don't throw this away just because it's writing. This is still quite a lot of plastic that you can use. Also, instead of taking them apart, you can slide in a little piece of pattern paper, make a pocket, or even a die cut or a sticker. You can also take two die cuts or two stickers that are the same size and shape, sandwich them back to back, straight and then that could you could put that inside and you could have it either floating if you want to stitch up the sides or glue them somehow or you can fix it inside so it stays where you want it to with a little bit of clear adhesive another kind of packaging or maybe you have some of these around your home are little glassine envelopes and these are really good because you can see through them but these aren't again these aren't completely transparent but you can see through them and those are a great addition as well you also, might also have some page protectors around your house maybe someone collects baseball cards or maybe you scrapbook these are fantastic for adding to your planner and they come in different sizes you can cut them up this one could be just these two squares or maybe just one square if you can do whatever you want just use your imagination this one is a full page. Sometimes page protectors get a little bit ruined, like this one got rolled on by my printer tray thing. My printer pulls out and the wheel went over it. So that doesn't mean this is garbage. I can still use the rest of this page in my planner. Another thing you may have on hand is some vellum. I have this package of vellum. Maybe you just have a, sh maybe you just have a few sheets or even some sort of tracing paper. That would work fantastic in your planner for this transparent trend. I also have this little quote that's also on vellum and that would work too. Now getting into more specific products, this is a little clear pocket that I bought and it will stick to anything and it has another little sticky here 
to close that down. So if you have some kind of clear pocket, maybe something promotional came in the mail, keep your eye out for things that are clear that you can you can repurpose in your planner. These are left over from my scrapbooking days or acetate sheets, is that what they're called, acetate? And I really like, because they've got designs on them. I don't know if you can see that one. It has um, white words on it. And those would look really good. I like this one because it has gold glitter dots on it. I actually have a t-shirt with those things, same things. So that's another addition if you have some of those left over from another craft. If you have a laminator, that would work as well. That's another great way to just make something transparent. You can either laminate a sheet all by itself or maybe put something small in it and just laminate that. Use your imagination. There's so many things you can do with a laminator. Now that I've given you some ideas on some transparent things that you can look for in your home, I want you to use your imagination, go on a hunt in your home, find something transparent, and then have fun with it. All right, let's get started. Now, if you're in rings, it's easy. You just punch a hole or six holes or whatever holes you have, put them in and you're good to go. The only thing I wanna say there is sometimes depending on the plastic, like this one, for example, it might be a bit flimsy and it might tear. So you may wanna put a piece of cardstock inside it. But other than that, if you're in rings, you're good to go. When it comes to a traveler's notebook, you're going to need some sort of adhesive. So what I've done is I folded this one and I put it on the elastic so that's going to hold really tight. And now I'm going to glue stuff onto this and but I'm going to need transparent adhesive. So this one for example comes up a little bit white but these ones are clear. You can also get clear squares or glue dots but if you don't have anything clear you can still do it with something that's gonna show up, but just cover it up. So here, for example, I have pockets, so I could put the, a little dab of adhesive here and here, stick it down, and then put something in the pocket to cover it up. If you don't have a pocket, I could put the glue here, stick it down, and then stick a sticker over top of where the glue was. So just play around with it, experiment, and see what you can come up with. You can also print directly onto vellum or other transparent pages that will go through your printer, depending on what kind of printer you have. Here, I've taped a piece of vellum to a piece of computer paper just to get a little bit more weight when it went through the printer, and then I print it right onto the vellum. It got a little smudgy, but lucky enough, none of the actual elements got smudged. It was just the title at the top of the page.
here it is all finished. I hope you like it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. I didn't realize here that I put dream next to each other, but that's okay. If you want to see how I made this pocket setup, I'll send you to this video here. If you want to see how I set up this May and weekly spread, I'll send you to this video up above here. Here's a last look at the stickers. Remember, you can get this one for free in the description below and you can get the whole set in my shop and that link is in the description as well. Let me know in the comments below if you would use a clear cover on your planner. For lots of inspiration to help you decorate your planner, don't forget to subscribe. You can do that here by clicking on my little face. Here are two more videos I think you'll like. Have a fantastic day and happy planning.